What's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Best of Bonds Blood Box. Uh, here today with another very quick collection update. Got a package in this week, so I figured I'd hop in and do another real short one. As I said in my last video, just going to be some, uh, some some short videos here for a little while, doing collection updates until we get into our new place. And we're going to do some uh, some longer, more involved videos from the new studio, so I'm super excited about that. Um, so, it's a collection update, and I've added in a few extra things that fit in with the, the theme here. Uh, to start off with, um, what we're listening to, if you can hear it in the background, is Ascended Dead, Abhorrent Manifestation. Uh, this is not new, I've had this for a while. Uh, I do dig this album, dig this band. Um, put out by Dark Descent Records. Um, if you're familiar with them, they're the ones who are putting out the Blood Incantation stuff, and uh, Spectral Voice, um, which I think are, is the same band, but... Uh, Doing that, you know, kind of music. Um, would like to get my hands on a vinyl of this eventually. I just sort of picked it up on a whim, and I've, I've really dug it. So, if you've not heard of Ascended Dead, it's a stellar, stellar, solid death metal album. Um, so, the theme with this collection update is death metal seven inches, um, as recommended by a lot of you, um, saying I should check out Maggot Stomp Records. Um, I decided to do so. And went ahead and picked up every 7-inch that they had available at the moment, which was four. These right here. So uh, they had some others, but they were sold out of them. They've got a couple 12-inches, too, that I might pick up in the future. But thought I would share my initial thoughts on these. Um, so Maggot Stomp, um, I should have looked this up. I believe it's a West Coast label, if I'm not mistaken. Um, very much on the the pulse of underground death metal. Uh, I actually really dig, you know, the style of it. As you can see, it's sort of the DIY, you know, simple design, all grody looking. Um, reminds me of, you know, maybe some of the underground punk scene stuff too. Um, there's certainly a lot more seven inches and cassettes than there are full length vinyl on there. Um, that's cool, you know, it's a cool underground label. Uh, it definitely ha has a style, a fit within the death metal that comes into it. That uh, is a specific type of death metal. Uh, I will preface going into this by saying, and this is not a, a knock on it, um, but, and this is maybe my untrained ear in death metal, but if you were to put the songs from all of these onto a single LP, I don't know if I could honestly tell you much of a tell you which bands are which <laughs> uh i mean they are um that this label has a sound and the bands that are on it sounds they are they fit that mold perfectly so um but it's cool it's cool that there's a, a label here in the u.s that's putting out underground death metal stuff um i've been looking for other labels and a lot of them seem to be overseas so it's expensive to get a seven inch so it's cool that there's someone in the u.s doing it it's funny because I was reading an interview just trying to look up some information on them. Um, it's very much a small label. I think it's one dude that's running it for the most part. Um, and there's some jokes within the uh, the style of death metal. with tell you, like, sort of an 80s vibe with the high top shoes and the uh, pit viper sunglasses has become sort of a thing within, within death metal and modern death metal. And I don't know if this is real. I saw it on my Facebook and then tried to look it back up, and I can't find it. But I think I saw something. This could have been a joke. But I think Maggot Stomp might be starting their own sunglass, like sunglass line, sunglasses line that are in the style of the Pit Viper uh, sunglasses. Because I know they're outrageously expensive and there's knockoffs everywhere. But I, I did see it. I can't seem to find it again. But maybe uh, Maggot Stomp's going to be releasing their own uh, Pit Viper knockoffs. So who knows? Anyways, uh, so let me get my notes up here real quick. So. Yeah, let's get into these a little bit. Um, starting off with a braided, um, let's see, Descendants of the Swamp. Uh, that's this one. Um, so this one, as opposed to the other seven inches, this actually has quite a few songs on it. It's got six tunes, which is awesome. Uh, definitely reminds me of the you know old school seven inch records that you get almost a full record's worth on a seven inch. Um, so that was pretty cool, as you can see there. I love the those almost looks like a Xerox, you know, Xerox back and artwork and stuff. Um, I do have some notes on these. Let's see. So, uh, yeah, this one comparatively to the rest, 
Uh, feels like it was maybe recorded live in the studio. I don't know that for sure, but the way the drums sound and the, the guitars and everything, it does sound like a live studio recording. Um, really solid, really tight. The musicianship is fantastic. Um, of course, it's heavy. That's a pretty common thing you can do with anything from Magasnops. It's going to be really heavy. Um, but yeah, of these, this one, of the ones I have here, this one's probably the, the most live recorded sounding 7-inch of them. Um, but solid, you know, hard, solid, uh, modern death metal is the best way to describe it. So that one's killer. Next, uh, this one I have to look up because I can't read. Mourned, Devoured Humanity. Uh, this is Mourned, right? Yeah, Mourned. Um, same thing, really good, straightforward, modern death metal. Um, this one, of all of them, I think it sounds the heaviest. Uh, the kick and the guitar and the chunkiness really just hits you in the chest. Um, but yeah, this one, this two tracks, um, really the, uh, the heavier of the, the four I have. Uh, the recording sounds more like a traditional tracked recording. Um, the differences between them are minimal, like I said, but they're, they're, they are there. Um, all of these bands are, are very talented musicians, though. Uh, next, because I can't read the logo, which is not uncommon, uh, Inoculation, right? Yeah, Inoculation, anatom anatom Anatomize. Inoculation, Anatomize. Similar to Blood Incantation, I did hear some, what I would say were some similarities between this and some of the technical style of Blood Incantation. Um, the back two tracks also. Um, this one does have a mixture in the vocals too, a little more. You get the guttural, you know, death metal growls, but then there's some higher screeching, uh, death metal screeching. Not black metal or like that. It's still death metal, but it jumps back and forth between those. So a little more, uh, a little more movement on the vocals. But same thing. Solid modern black metal. And last but not least, Church of Disgust, consumed by slow putrefaction has a little more of a classic death metal vibe to me. Subtle, uh, very subtle, but it's it's there. Um, I think this is a little more influenced from more of the classic bands. Least, not directly, but like Entombed and, and things like that from the, the 80s and late 80s, early 90s. This is not, again, not a, a complaint by any means. I like it, but um, it's just, it's hard to tell the difference on some of these to me. They are, they all fit the mold of what Maggot Stomp Death Metal is perfectly, so. Um, but it's cool. I like it. I like this modern stuff. Um, I am, uh, as I'm listening to more Death Metal, I, I do think my taste leans more towards classic Death Metal stuff. Um, it's strange, because in Black Metal, I'm, I, I, the more out there, the more strange it gets, the more I like it. Um, but with black metal, you get a lot more, even with the really harsh stuff, there's a lot of atmosphere and mood in it. Um, death metal, again, just my opinion, um, can sometimes move in the direction of getting harsh and raunchy for the sake of that within itself. There's not necessarily a lot of atmosphere or mood to it, but there's, that's, you know, not its purpose. That's not what it's trying to do. It's, it's death metal and it's meant to be, you know, fist pumping. Um, I, again, Maggot Stomp, I think, even says this is music for, you know, knuckle-dragging cavemen riffs, um, non-intellectual death metal, um, which, I mean, it's interesting that they say that, because the, the musicianship and the technicality of these bands is fantastic. It's very, uh, very loud, a lot of noise, but it is, uh, really solid, solid musicianship on those. Um, but, but on that, uh, so yeah, with, with modern death metal, with some of the more, this more stuff, it's just more about being kind of nasty and fun, I think, is the points with it. Um, classic death metal, I'm finding, has more, I don't know, maybe more melody, more going on within the songs, more production. Um, my tastes are leaning a little bit towards that, but again, I'm interested in it all. I like listening to it, and I, I definitely like this stuff, so blah, 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 blah. I don't like rambling on about that. Okay, while we're talking about classic death metal, um, I thought I'd share this. Now, this is a 7-inch I've had for a while. This is not a new one. But, since we're doing death metal 7-inches, I thought I'd share it. This is the recent, uh, fairly recent, 2017, um, Avulsed and Merciless Split. Um, so, this includes... So, Avulsed did the song Hidden Perversions. Merciless did the song Without Christ. 
Um, these are both re-recorded versions of the old songs. So for Evolst, Hidden Perversions, uh, this is the 25th anniversary re-recording of that song. And Merciless Without Christ, it's the 30th anniversary re-recording of those, that song. So, um, this is a fun 7-inch because while both of these bands are had that classic death metal vibe and, and fit that well, they are different. So you get, you know, very different feels on either side. Um... I feel like a Volst, because as I've shown in my previous videos, I just recently got an Volst album. The singer, I, I'm sure it's the same singer, but um, definitely I think his vocals have um, really grown into themselves. Of course, you know, 25 years. <laughs> There's lots of time to do that. But he does the real low, guttural, like I said before, kind of almost like phlegmy um, death metal vocals, and they are really strong on this release. Some of the older stuff, it's a little looser. It doesn't feel to sound like he has quite as much control over it. Um, but with this re-recorded song, he uh, definitely has control over it now. So I'm curious to actually check out some of their newer stuff and not so much the 90s stuff. Um, Merciless, solid. I mean, just solid across the board. Their old stuff was good. They sound great with the new one, too. So... Um, yeah, this is a cool 7-inch. Kind of pricey for a 7-inch. Um, I think I paid $13 for this one. Uh, the Maggot Stomp ones were all around 7 or 8 bucks. Um, that's usually what I've seen 7-inches go for. But, you know, like I heard recently in some of the live streams, 7-inches um, are not actually that much cheaper to make. Um, they're more for promotional purposes. That's why they sell them usually cheaper. But, uh, yeah, they're not uh, necessarily a, a cheap form of, of getting music out there. Uh, comparatively to 12 inches. That's why I think it's interesting that uh, Maggot Stomp does so many 7 inches um, and cassettes. Well, cassettes make sense. Those are those are pretty cheap to make. But Anyways, yeah, so there's those. That involves Merciless Splits Killer. I'd highly recommend that. Uh, last one in my 7 inch death metal collection. This one is new. I got the infamous The Glorious Dead. Um, see if I can say this right. I'm kind of bad about pronouncing some of these. <laughs> I Again, most of these I've listened to maybe one day before doing these, so I, uh, I'm still really fresh to them. But, uh, let's see, Glorious Dead, Imperator of the Desiccated. Yeah. Uh, so, Stellar, as many of you know, YouTuber Marty Worm, this is his project, his death metal project. It's nice, it comes with some, some kick-ass stickers. May put these on something. I'm kind of getting in the, the mode of keeping all the you know little things that come with records with the records. So, but Stellar, um, I know if you get this, I got this from Binder and Recordings. Um, if you get it, I think it's a a mixed bag on what color you will get. I think they have just a bunch of random colors, but I got a Stellar green one fits really well. Killer artwork. Um, Honestly, and I'm, I'm not just saying this because I, I know Marty, you know, from, from YouTube, and he's done some print work, uh, screen printing stuff for me, but this is actually my favorite of the collection I have here. This is, this is my favorite one. That's why, I, after listening to the Maggot Stomp stuff and the Glory is Dead, Glory is Dead is certainly more in the vein of traditional death metal, old school death metal. Um... That's why I think it's helping me shape a little bit that I might be a fan of more of the, the classic death metal stuff. Um, Solid-ass musicianship on this. It's really stellar. More of the classic death metal vibe. Um, the, so the second track on this, now there is a full length coming out um, from what I've been seeing. It is at the plant. Of course, you know, who knows with everything going on, everything's a little delayed, um, understandably so. But there should be a full length coming out soon. Um, the second track, so first track on this is great, sounds like a studio recording, really solid. Um, the second track I think is a live recording or rehearsal recording. Uh, it certainly sounds live, but this is one of those situations where it's just a testament to how talented the band is, because um, they're pulling some awesome shit off live, <laughs> if it's a live recording. Um, really tight, um, the dudes obviously play really well together. Um, but yeah, this is, I, I really dig this. Um, again, I, I, I like everything I got. I dig the Maggot Stomp stuff too, but the, the classic death metal vibes are, are solid. Um, while it's based in classic death metal, I would say that this may, this does fit into the realm of modern death metal too. And again, this is all to my understanding of death metal. I'm, I'm still new to the genre. 
but um, it it fits within modern bands well. But there is certainly a lot of the things I appreciate from what I've heard of old school death metal included on this, and this is, it includes um, holding my interest. Um, I would say with some of the Maggot Stomp uh, releases, and again, this is just personal opinion, um, I can listen to a couple of those seven inches and then I'm kind of going to be ready to move on to something else, um, just because it is, it's, it's really straightforward, um, as opposed to this or, um, again, the Evolston Merciless stuff, uh, these hold my attention uh, a lot longer, there's more going on within the songs, um, there's more dynamics within the songs. So I, it, it fits my taste a little bit better. So if you've not checked out Gloria's Dead, definitely do so. Um, these you can get on Bandcamp or directly from the man himself, Marty Worm, at Spinerun Recordings. Um, you know, if you're a fan of Bindrun, you know that's more of the atmospheric or folk black metal work. So it's cool to have a death metal release from them. I've heard there might be some more death metal releases coming out on Bindrun moving forward. Um, but yeah, really solid release. I'm sure you've seen other people on YouTube talking about this, but there's a reason. It's fantastic, so. Uh, so yeah, you know, again, really fast update today. Um, just a small package of some 7 inches I got. Uh, more stuff coming. Um, and again, just to reiterate, uh, probably be slow on getting videos out over the next few weeks until we get into the new apartment with the new studio. And then I'll have some, you know, longer more involved videos, some fun stuff I want to share with you guys then. So I uh, appreciate you checking it out. Thank you for being here. Um, thank you for the recommendations you guys have been giving me. That's definitely uh, getting me into the realm of death metal a little more. Um, like, you know, it's been fun. So uh, cheers, my friends. Thank you for watching, and we will see you soon.